Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. North Texas has been unable to get anything going over the last few weeks. The losing streak is starting to grow and feed on itself. Doubt has crept in. Will they be able to find a way to right the ship? We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. the city known as the Texas Star. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Butler from the six. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 38. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. And the final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. From the 39-yard line, first down. Six-yard line. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. Complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 26. Right there in the middle, Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle made around the 10-yard line. And for Underwood, he adds to his season catch total. Now it's 60. He's become one of the real go-to guys in this offense. And when you see him out there, there's no wonder why. From the 10-yard line. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it seven and six. He's under some heat. They bring the quarterback down. SMU still riding high after that record-setting performance a week ago, but he better get back to work, get his feet back on the ground. Those awards are great, but uh, the old saying is you can't rest on your laurels. He's got to get back to work here. Third down, seven yards to go. Seven yards for the touchdown. Yeah, 
They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. Brad, the wide receiver was the key here. He did a really good job of working that route to the middle of the field for the post. But before he got to the post, he kind of looked off the defender to the outside and then moved back to the middle of the field. And the quarterback recognized the big hole in the defense and made the throw for the touchdown. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. And for UTEP, they're eye-to-eye -eye with a seven-game skid. And for Mitchell, he scored a touchdown. Baylor leads it 7-0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. SMU ready to kick this one off. Williams fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Rock way, and the defense was ready for it. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 28. Throws it and oh, he dropped it. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Warren is waiting for the snap. They'll bring him down at the 50-yard line. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. the 32-yard line. It's first down. SMU up seven points. Pass time. Here they come. He lets it go. Incomplete pass. That makes it second and ten. about three yards to pick up the first down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes at the 13-yard line. A tight end that has this young man's skills is a real weapon for any offense. He can catch the ball, create mismatches, and force a defense to pay attention to him. rid of this one. From the 13-yard line, second down. Turner on the draw. Tackle at the 14-yard line. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. Right 
Touchdown. Touchdown, Mustangs. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Tacks on the extra point. It was an eight-play, 49-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So our score, 14-0. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. He's into the open field. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 34. There are three quarters remaining. SMU's in front by 14. Welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. on the run runs with it and he's got room he's at midfield knocked out of bounds around the 44 yard line good yardage there on the scramble well you have to credit the quarterback here he's not the most fleet-footed guy on the field but notice how he has the awareness and the composure to know when to tuck it and go and as a result he comes up with a big play Yard line. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So the sack makes this a second and long. Check four, check four. Hey, check, check. Oh, Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. receiver and it got him six you said it brad in a good time to call it i tip my hat to the offensive coordinator you've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy and he converts the extra point so a six-play, 77-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Butler takes it at the eight. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 33-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. SMU is up a score. Set, set, 
fires it out. Rock down around the 41 yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Five, five, five. He's going to go for the home run. He goes up and gets it. the PAT. A quick two-play, 67-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 21-7. Harper has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Mike two, Mike two. Black five, black five, three, nine, Midfield gets out to around the 48. First down. Got a man. Watch out here, and they make the stop at the 41-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. They've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. <laughs> Tackle made at the 27. The Mustangs and over the years have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership, and that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. Second and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. to that quickly. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. Now 
now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Irby, this guy headed to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. We don't know how bad it is, but right now it doesn't look like he's likely to play any more football. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. They need to get it to the 22. Pocket holds. The cavalry's coming. And he's level at the 40. That makes it for the long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. will be a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. SMU's lead is two touchdowns. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely. And you got to find Reese, these ball hawks on defense. They need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he'll return this one from the seventh. It's scooped up. And so they'll turn the ball over on the fumble. Yeah, the ball carrier just didn't do a good job of protecting the ball. This defense took advantage of it. We're about set to start things up again. makes the catch. Tackle made around the four-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And 
for Snyder. That's his third touchdown pass of the game. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Snyder's play so far in this football game, he's really the definition of just being a solid competitor every week. Yeah, I mean, you and I have been watching him, and just every week he has impressed us, and then to be able to sit down and talk with him, I think that's the thing that really I took away from our meeting is not just is this guy a talented player, but how competitive he is. And we've seen that again in this football game, just his competitive spirit leading this team and up to this point, just a flawless performance. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. He's scrambling. He's at the 40. Slides down. Call it a of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. He's under pressure. He lets it go, and he couldn't hang on to it. Incomplete. Take him down immediately. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Mike 55, Mike 55. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down. Six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Tackle at about the five yard line. Clark gets three yards on the play. That'll make it third and one. He's 
going to come up short. Good tackle. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. This isn't much more than an extra point. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Vaughn gets set to kick this one away. Down at the 27 yard line. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 30-yard line, second down, they come out on an empty backfield. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. And it's caught, and he's got down quickly. That's a two six on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. Nicholson is the deep man awaiting the return. He makes it to the 38-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Just throws this one away. So at the end of three, the Mustangs lead 28-10. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop, and now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Pushed out of bounds at about the 45. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost instant lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Down around the 32-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Here comes the pressure. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he 
adds the extra point. SMU gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The Mustangs have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down right around the 50. Ferguson's at the top of the 50 yard line. First down. Seven yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Choose the mic. Big kill, kill, kill. Black five, black five. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Excellent open field tackle. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 40. Just under three to go in regulation. Black five. He's at the 30, and they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. He's on the run, looking for the corner. He might have a chance. Slides down to the ground. That'll bring up second and three. In your face. 34's the mic, 34's the mic. Go, kill, kill, kill. Black five, black five. Yellow, go. A little toss across the middle. Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First and goal. Roger, Roger. Mike 34, Mike 34. Easy, easy. Black five, black five, black five. Caught out in the open. Touchdown, North Texas. He hit the big tight end for six on that one. As a quarterback, you like the tight end inside the 10-yard line because they have a knack for finding the opening. And then you can just drill it in there. And he hits the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's get you up to date on everything going on in the top 25. And for TCU, they reach the end zone on the ground. The Horned Frogs are on top, 7-0. Meanwhile, the Razorbacks and the Tigers square off, looking for the coveted golden boot. And for Arkansas, they score through the air. And for Starks, he's caught a touchdown pass. The Razorbacks on top, 7-0, early in the first. And for North Texas, they played TCU a week ago. the 
three-yard line. SMU staff and their fans got to be happy this guy's on their side. Well, with him making plays the way he did today, there's reason for their optimism and the reason they feel good about having him on their side. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. From the 28-yard line, second down. A little over a minute in the game. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, SMU 35, North Texas 17. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? There was no doubt who the better team was today, Brad. North Texas did a nice job of hanging in there against a far superior team, but in the end, they just didn't have enough to get it done. They played well, though. Nice job, guys. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.